हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडे टॉपिक इज कंट्रोल वैल पार्ट फोर सी वन एज वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग दिस इन पार्ट सो एज टू हैव द कंटिन्यूटी बिटवीन अवर लेसन लर्निंग वीडियो एंड थैंक्स टू रियल पास फॉर हैविंग सच अ वंडरफुल एनिमेशन वेर वी हैव द कंप्लीट क्लोज लुप सिस्टम एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल then please visit to our channel efunda and watch all the videos related related to the various topics of engineering fundamentals procurement engineering telecommunication engineering instrumentation and control engineering deliverables and many more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel efunda so let's begin with our today's topic that is control valve part 4 c1 of new series of fundamentals of control valve design this we are presenting in parts fundamentals of control valve part 4 c1 that is this video control valve design and engineering part 4 c2 that will be subsequent video control valve installation and application part 4 c3 this is the series we are going to follow the sequence so as to have a better understanding on our fundamentals of valve design engineering series fundamentals of control valve for better understanding one will see the flow loop where fe ft fic i2p converter and final control element that is a control valve is shown control valve is a power actuated device that is based on the control signal from automatic controller that is fic which provides a adjustable restriction to regulate process parameter such as pressure flow level temperature etc in the process area application the control valve is the most common type of the final control element in a process control system the final control element is a mechanism which alters the value of the manipulated variable in response to the output signal of an automatic controller that is coming from the fic controller a manually manipulated control device or a direct manipulation the operation of the control valve can be either pneumatic or electric type one can see the loop where we have connected the actuated control valve where the signal is coming from the fic controller to the i2p con converter and then pneumatic air will be supplied to the control valve so as to have the regulated output with respect to 4 to 20 milliamp from fic controller the control valve is an automated valve that can make precise adjustment to regulate and monitor any commodity flowing through a piping system one can refer to the animations where control valve functionality is shown for better understanding the function of a control valve is to provide throttling control in response to the signal from a control system using an actuator and a positioner they are also considered as the final control element in an automated and usually a sophisticated control loop one can see how the spring type actuator diagram is shown and below animation one can see the opening and closing status of the valve how the fluid is flowing through the valve coming to the topic of control valve arrangement for better understanding one can refer to the flow control loop where the controller is receiving input signal from field flow transmitter and based on the signal from aic as the set point comparison is done in the fic controller and accordingly based on that the signal sent to the control valve for taking a corrective action as the actual flow is a different and for understanding this arrangement one can refer to the typical valve arrangement where one can see the controller receives the pressure signal compares them with a pressure drop for the desired flow and if the actual flow is different then adjust the control valve to increase or decrease the flow this is how the installation is done where the valve is installed in a line from where we have the 
high pressure steam in and through that we have provided the pressure gauges so as to have the measurement and simultaneously there is a bypass control valve flow path is also shown and typically at the discharge of the control valve section measuring element that is a pressure sensor is shown where the pressure will be indicated on the controller and based on the manipulated variable that is electric current will be sent to the control valve so as to have the control action so as to increase or the decrease of the flow requirement after seeing the typical control valve arrangement we are moving on to the cross sectional view of a control valve it is important to understand the parts of the control valve assembly one can refer to the pictures where actuator and valve body to understand this part we will study now on the left hand side picture one can see hand wheel actuator actuator stem coupling yoke packing set valve stem body valve plug cage etc are shown and for detail parts assembly which is divided into the actuator body and trim and the details of each component as indicated with the arrow and mainly a valve body is sub assembly either with a reciprocating or a rotating stem and actuating device usually a diaphragm type spring where opening and closing of the valve is usually done automatically with the help of electrical hydraulic or the pneumatic type of the actuators mainly this valve positioner which is an instrument which converts an electronic signal coming from the controller in our case we have seen the fic controller where the signal is converted into an air signal to the control valve to the position of the valve stem and the positioners are used to control the opening and closing of the actuator based on the electric or the pneumatic signal required for the control valve typically an air set regulator is also required to provide the regulated supply of air pressure to the positioner so as to have the regulated air supply to the control valve these control signals traditionally are based on either 3 to 15 psig that is 0.2 to 1 bar more commonly now these days are 4 to 20 milliamp signals are used for the industry which is generally 0 to 10 volt for the hvac system and then the smart system like heart foundation field bus profi bus being are the more common protocols are being used so as to have the transmission of this signal to the control room and mainly the parts of this uh, control valve are we have seen the actuator valve positioner then the valve body this is how the typical cross sectional area of the control valve is shown and we have seen briefly about all these main parts of the control valve now we have reached to the stage where one should understand the types of control valve one can refer to the classification flow chart where control valve is divided into the linear sliding stem valve or a rotary type valve further this linear type is divided into the diaphragm globe pinch type valve rotary is divided into the butterfly ball and eccentric plug type rotary globe ball one has to understand the features of the linear valve as they have a low recovery and can throttle for the small flow rates it offers a variety of special trim designs additionally they are suited for the high pressure applications and usually plants or threaded type connections are provided for such arrangement and separable bonnets are available in this types of valve further for this rotary type actually it's a streamline flow path that means this are connected in line as a flow path valve high recovery valves are considered as a rotary valve here more capacity and less packing wear 
they can handle slurry as well as abrasive surfaces higher rangeability and flangeless wall and have a integral of bonnet now we will see major type in a brief now diaphragm type one can refer to the animation where diaphragm valve operation is shown which is simplest tight shut off isolated ideal for the corrosive slurry and sanitary services where see how the flow is being cut off if the wall is closed similarly the second type is a globe type valve globe valve is also called stop valve shut off valve the opening and closing parts of the globe valve is can seen from the animation where plug shape is a valve disc the ceiling surface is a flat or conical type and the wall disc moves linearly along with the center line of the fluid in the animation one can see the operation of the globe valve as this animation we have used working based on the hand wheel but our purpose of having the control valve which requires automatic operation with the help of actuator similarly third type is the pinch type valve one can refer to the animation how the flow is passing through the line and the valve is getting pinch at the close of the valve occurs a pinching of the elastic sleeves thereby damming the flow or stopping the flow opening and closing of the valve is realized by different types of the actuator that is a manual pneumatic or electric type now to rotary type here mainly is a butterfly valve one can refer to the animation how the butterfly valve is shown and connected where butterfly which consists of a rotating disc in trunian bearings traditionally these butterfly valves were limited to the low pressure and temperature due to their inherent limitations of the soft seated which are being used in the butterfly valve design second rotary type valve is the ball valve one can refer to the below animation where the ball valve is connected in a line that means this valve is called as inline valve where the actual tight shut off high capacity with a just a quarter turn to operate one can see how the flow is flowing through the valve when the wall is open and how the tight shut off is being achieved a ball valve is consist of a spherical ball located between the two ceiling rings in the simple body form the valve has a hole allowing fluid passing through the line when the wall is open this gives either full bore or nearly full bore flow with a very little pressure drop and the third type is the eccentric plug rotary globe type which shows a typical eccentric plug these valves are normally installed with the help of plug spindle horizontal as shown and attach actuator situated along the valve this is how the control valve types are categorically divided so we have touched each type of a valve and for further classification of each type one can study this classification table so as to understand the types of a valve types of a single seated double seated or three way type mixing in a linear sliding stem type further rotary valves are also classified which are listed and shown for ready reference with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel ifanda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel ifanda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this
we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topics